today we have a great, great uh, influencer in Dubai. It's uh, Sasha uh, Ray, and uh, she's from Ukraine, but she lives in, uh, in Dubai. And we're going to know so many things about her and about her career and how is it going over there. Hello, Sasha, how are you? Hi, so nice to meet you. Thank you for having me in your interview. Thank you so much. Today is an honor for us to have you today for Starview Magazine. So you are, uh, why are all the influencers right now in Dubai? Why? Why do you think? Well, that's the only place where you can maintain social life, to be honest, this year. And like uh, influencers can't, can't really survive without social life. It's difficult to to come up with the content, right? So that's why they're coming here where life is happening. Like I was based here uh, since long time ago. So for me, it's different reason. But what what, what language do you speak there? Uh, mostly uh, English, no? Or, or you, are there many uh, people from Ukraine or from Russia too? You know, for for past few years, uh, we have so many people move from Ukraine, Russia and all post-Soviet countries. I mean, on all Russian speakers. That's why I started speaking Russian much, much more than I used to speak here when I just moved to Dubai. Before it was mainly English and I was even forgetting some, you know, some Ukrainian or Russian words. <laughs> but now, like daily, I, I, I speak in Russian a lot, even here. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, you are an influencer and you're having uh, have a lot of followers. I can, you, I can have, I have to say congratulations to you. You have 2,100,000 followers i think and yeah it's been a long way for me uh when did you started all this uh, being influencer and started all this shooting i have seen beautiful photos that you have that uh we will show in our video and uh talk to us about it well i started pretty much very long time ago when there were actually no word as influencer yet i was just enjoying like um, being active on social media and uh, showing like uh, the life all over the world i used to travel a lot i mean like we don't take um, the situation of uh, this year but like in general before I was just doing it as a hobby uh, because I'm very creative and visual person and quite social as well I, I love to live an uh, active life plus to be honest like uh, apart from being an influencer before I was involved in show business I used to be a singer and then when I moved to Dubai I started quite a social business which was a restaurant business I used to bring uh, you know uh, lots of artists here and we used to organize different shows so I did lots of social events in my restaurant. I was uh, like inviting also famous people and like all this social life uh, brought me into influencing and slowly, slowly, you know, like I started growing and when you're into this, there is no way back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when exactly is very difficult to tell. It's probably like around already I would say seven years, to be honest, yes. Oh, a long time, huh? It's a really long time. But yeah. that's pretty good because many people are, are many years and they don't get so many uh, followers. So you should be very happy. Well, you know, like, uh, there are... I, I say you have to, like, build your followers on just, like, doing one... Uh, things that will how to say uh, like hype thing yeah that will attract lots of followers or you have to build it gradually use many methods use like work on it uh, so i was trying to combine both of the methods you know that that's great that's great so also uh your singer uh are you still uh working on your career as a singer too? Uh, you know, to be very honest, I had a huge pause in my singing career because mainly I was doing it when I was based in Ukraine because like it was all in Russian language and I was focusing on uh, Ukraine mainly. Then when I moved to Dubai, I switched like 
to my business and I was actually bringing artists to my place. So I was like uh, building a small show in the restaurant and I was not performing. So I was just like using my talent and creativity for, for building something inside. But then of course, like now Corona uh, came and like entertainment business collapsed on a huge pause. And uh, I started um, taking singing classes again. I want to get back my voice because obviously uh, after such a huge pause, I lost my skills. Uh, so I do have plans to get back to it, may, may, even if not like as my main, uh, uh, my main occupation, right? But still I want to, I have some songs I want to record and I, uh, yeah, I don't want to erase, erase music from my life. I want like to get back to it and I uh, have some new, how to say, not only songs, but like uh, songs with uh, with new me, which will represent my personality already evolved. And uh, yeah, I want to send this uh, new message to my followers. Yes, not the one I was like Go seven on. years before. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Don't leave it. Don't leave it because it's beautiful. The music, music in life has to be something. What kind of music do you like to sing? Like pop or it's like uh, more rock? Yeah, or? it's mainly pop, and it was uh, I. I was always singing very romantic songs. I was never following any like music trends, etc. I was just like sticking to my li line and like uh, having nice romantic pop. Yeah, yeah material. Well, yeah. well uh, you know that at Starview Magazine, we always uh, push and support, and we will promote when you get your music ready. And you have us here to help you whenever we can. Or, and if you come to Spain, uh, to Marbella, which is a beautiful place, I don't know if you have been there, uh, we could do some. I, a long time ago, I've been there. It's a, it That's is a very beautiful place with amazing food, amazing people. Thank you. Yeah. So many things to offer. Yeah, you know, there's a big, uh, huge uh, Russian and uh, Ukrainian community here. A lot I know. I know. Our people they love Marbella. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They they like uh, they like our our warm way of living and. Uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, always parties and all that. So we are in this time uh, with the COVID, it's been a big change for us. But now I think slowly uh, we all have a very positive uh, thing that by summer uh, with the vaccination, many people start doing normal life. Again, I think. Yeah. So it's getting back to normal slowly, right? Yes, yeah, slowly, slowly. I think I have heard that Dubai uh, really like, well, I think now the last time I spoke with uh, somebody there uh, told me that uh, the things were getting a little bit worse and they started to put more restrictions. That's what I heard, but I don't know. And, uh, but... Uh, in Dubai? Yeah. Uh, you know, not that huge restrictions, to be honest, just like uh, limiting the number of people at the table and like that we have to wear masks. So that pretty much it. Not not that many. We are still living life here, which is good. Yeah, but of course it would be much better even without those restrictions. But yeah, like concerts are not allowed and big uh, big events are not allowed. So if you want to have a wedding or big birthday party, you can't do it. You, you can't do it in Dubai. This is true. Yes. You told me before you you influencer. You have travel uh, all over the world. Which part of the world would you say that has been, that has uh, impacted you somehow? The places you've been? Uh, impacting in what way? <laughs> you know, like... Wow, uh, this place is amazing. Uh, I recommend this place or uh, I, I had such a good time there. You know, that somebody, for example, if somebody will ask me this for me, uh, one of the places that impacted me was uh, Bali, you know? because of the... Uh, uh, this of is very strange, but I've never been to Bali because, you know, I know all kind of influencers who went to Bali, but like for me, I was like thinking I will 
keep it aside when it becomes less popular because not like everyone was going there mm-hmm. I, i'm preferring to to be opposite and go to different directions so, so yeah i still never went to bali yeah you prefer the mountain or the or the beach uh i'm a beach girl that's why actually i live in dubai yeah i'm definitely a beach girl i was never really uh eagering to go to ski resorts i don't know just snow and cold uh, is is much more difficult to tolerate for me rather than hot weather and beach but yeah i mean like uh places that impressed me most uh it's probably japan for sure mm-hmm. that's what i was asking yeah because i mean it's like different universe pretty much uh, i used to also live uh, in china for a little while but still china is impressive but the way japan is impressive you cannot describe you just have to be there and to see these people there is totally completely different the way they are living their life uh absolutely everything it's just like complete opposite to what we are and uh, it's extremely beautiful place with super amazing i don't know like uh, traditions and how they keep them food wise food is always very important for me whenever i travel so yeah after japan i i couldn't eat the sushi anywhere else even in the best restaurants i couldn't for for a while Uh, so, so yeah, that was a very impressive place. You think and uh, about, or about what you eat and what about your health and just uh, take. Ah, uh, what do I eat? Yeah, yeah. You know? Or or you if you like something, you go ahead and you eat it. Or you or you always keep you know your 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 form and you think about it. You know when when you eat something. You know. Uh, you know do, I'm. Do you eat healthy or you eat whatever you feel in that moment? <laughs> No, no, of course, most of my life I'm trying to eat healthy, but I do allow myself cheat days. I like will not lie to you. And on that cheat days, I can eat pizza, I can eat burger, and I'm not ashamed of it, you know, like uh, because I know when I have my cheat days, it will be easier for me to live my life on a healthy diet not to drink alcohol which is very difficult in dubai because every time you go out you have friends around who are telling how come you are not drinking come on don't be boring this is like you have to be very strong uh, to resist but at the same time if you agree to every opportunity to drink you're gonna end up drinking every single day and like you will ruin yourself Well, I had this problem too because uh, the problem is that I don't like alcohol. Absolutely, I hate it. it. I don't feel well when I take it, and everybody says to me, "Oh, why don't you drink something?" I say, "No, no, no. I feel very good with alcohol, and and I'm the most craziest person when I go to a party." And everybody says, "How many?" I say, "I haven't taken anything." <laughs> Absolutely, it's, yeah, it's not about uh, it's not about the amount of alcohol. Actually, yeah, very true. It's just like exactly like you're telling next day you feel bad you don't have energy headache plus your appetite goes up you eat more so you destroy your diet so not many benefits i mean once in a while it's okay on like really good occasions but like yeah you you really have to control that to stay healthy especially in cities like this with very very active social life Well, I would, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, as you have so many followers, what would you like to say to them from now here, uh, from Star Review Magazine? In general, I want to say that, especially in this year, all of us, we have to stay positive. I know, like, it's really mentally not easy for many people uh, to keep up uh, with positivity and uh, keep doing what they're doing uh but i believe that like we are all in this together we have to support each other and we have to stay positive because bad times will finish not i mean like you can't say uh, that like we are living in bad times just kind of difficult difficult and challenging but uh we're gonna go through it all together we're gonna be stronger and i'm sure we will enter into much 
better episodes of our lives and become much more wise and mature so just like let's stay positive all together and yeah that's great i'm so happy that we made uh, this interview today here by uh um by zoom because normally um when i had some other connections in dubai it's always difficult because the internet there i don't know why <laughs> there's always like a little bit of problem and really? uh yeah. Was it not that bad? Yeah. No, no, it's perfect. I My connection is good, by the way. I I see it's quite good with you. Yeah. Even yeah. you know, before I had like with Russia call with Russia, it was a bit uh, lower uh, quality than with you. Oh, but I see you well. I see you. I hear your voice perfectly. And uh, well, we would like to um, say to everybody that. Uh, watch this video maybe by the end of the night or I would say tomorrow for sure it will be ready with a lot of these beautiful photos that uh, you make such a, such a beautiful uh, shooting. Uh, you must feel uh, very happy uh, with the photographers who, who work with you and everything. What, what can you say about the photo shootings that you make? I, I mean, like, I work with many, many photographers and I'll tell you a little secret. <laughs> Yes. Which is no matter um, which photographer I work with, I obviously, I mean, like, uh, they're all ten talented and I appreciate each work. I only choose to work with those, like, I really feel I love the quality of what they're doing. But I always uh, do my little touch, put my filter or put something like, you know, um, color co correction or whatever is needed to be done. I always have to finish it, it off myself, like, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. That's very good because you know yourself uh, also. And uh, I can, and, and if you see her page uh, uh, and her account, uh, you can see such a great, great pictures. I, I love them. And uh, we're going to see them all here in, the, in this beautiful video. And uh, we hope to see you very soon uh, here in Marbella too. No, pretty much. Thank you so much for uh, for having me. And like, it was nice talking you, to you. And it is really nice to be able to connect with uh, with a different part of the world and the, how like uh, to stay connected with uh, like with more people. Yes. Yeah, it's it's super amazing that we are so far away and, and still like we can share. I'm agreed with you. I'm agreed with you. I'm so happy that you've been here today with us and uh, know you a little bit more. And uh, I tell to everybody, watch this video because it's going to be very nice. We're going to see beautiful pictures of her and uh, uh, videos and things that you have in your Instagram. And uh, honor for us to be here and we hope to make many more collaborations. Okay, perfect. Yeah, have a good day. The rest of the so day. Thank you for this interview. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. bye.